Um, next, I'll talk about uh, Tingshu as organization, and then I'll pass it on to Ted to talk about Noise in Yangon. Um, and then also um, we've invited Ted to share about the situation in Myanmar and about all that's happening. So I'll keep the keep the uh, things for introduction quite briefly. Um, and I'm sure people are most curious about what's happening in um, Myanmar in terms of experimental music scene and in terms of all the creative people and also the politics that's happening, what's happening to the people as well. So uh, Ting Shaw, next slide, thank you. Um, we're an organization based in Tainan, Taiwan, and OCSA invited us um, because we're also uh, been exchanging a lot with international communities. And so we host uh, sound art and experimental music concerts, workshop, um, and different kind of exchange, especially these two years online exchange events. Um, we've exchanged with artists all over Asia um, and Western countries. Uh, next slide. So we are very interested in uh, research, not just sort of, for, not just focus on the art scene, but kind of extended communities. Anything about listening, about sound, and anything that could be experimental or interdisciplinary, could be about discussion, could be about uh, community building, um, could be about exchanging or focusing on Taiwan culture, environment, Taiwanese community, um, or space, or venues, or um, exchanges that is uh, looking into these cultures. Next slide. Thank you. Uh, so this is our rooftop space. Um, the last couple of slides is our uh, main concert space. And we've hosted events all throughout our sort of one old building. And this is exchange with kind of Southeast Asia um, collective and musicians that Asian meeting festival brought to Tainan and also co-hosted by uh, Taipei Contemporary Art Center. And this was uh, 2018, September. Next. And this is the concert in our main space. Um, so Ted and I actually originally met uh, quite a few of his musicians and toured together in Japan um, in 2017. And so we toured together about, I think, 10 days. Um, and we really um, shared a lot with a lot of Southeast Asian curators and music and with East Asian curators as well. Next. Um, so Ting Shuo, we, uh, in all our exchanges, international and local, we would like to promote a extended way of listening, an open sense of listening. And we want to connect culture, history, community, um, and connect also different music genres, different uh, music background, and thinking about um, environment, thinking about um, a more broad sense of a multiple sense of culture. And so in this uh, score and this exchange, I hope it comes back to this, it comes back to how can we use music to respond to 
what's happening in Myanmar and how can we use music and uh, decomposition of text and meaning to give people a different sense of parallel reality. Um, it's not just what's happening in Myanmar. It's, it could be what's happening in Taiwan in the future. Um, it could be what's happening anywhere. And um, as everywhere in the world, the, the political is swinging into the right. We hope that art and music can bring us a different sense of history, culture, and community. So the next slide. Um, this exchange, we will continue in the next three months with another three pair of artists. And next month we have Sammy and Rex. And then we have Moe and June and February, Ted and I will finish with our own uh, musical exchange. Next slide. Um, so thank you. Um, if COVID uh, give us a new future uh, and people are able to travel, welcome people to visit us in Thailand. Um, and I'll give the talk back to Ted to introduce uh, noise in Yongong and also what's happening in Myanmar. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I don't have a um, PowerPoint slide to share, but I have um, some historical uh, moment of our noise in Yangon community. And I also want to explain about uh, how um, how we are going to phase two. So um, this is the the opening of uh, uh, Yang. I think this image is which is in two thousand eighteen. Actually, we started the community in early two thousand seventeen, but we we don't have the name or we we don't have like uh, logos. We don't have. Uh, websites and um yeah so from from nothing to making group concept all the way to getting this brand getting this name and getting the community and and we have fast come so far so uh before i explain what's going on with the recent timeline i'm talking i will talk about the history a little bit so um this image was taken in uh Kitame music center which is also a historical place where a lot of people meet up uh meet up and study together in this music journey i also grown up studying their uh classical and jazz in that school so is is the day we rent in the their hall, a recital hall, and I rent the sound equipment and I start uh I start making two two no three day concert. So I break down into uh three group of artists and the first day is just um PowerPoint slide and how we become uh noise in yangon and just drinks and uh food and beverage and and then so we uh, we catch up the history with the audience like who's involved in what timeline so on so from the left to the right uh the left is me and uh, from from my left to the right, the number two is uh, Satu. He's also a part of um, uh, Bamalan Band, which is a senior uh, experimental band. And you could say first 
first group who use texture texture improvisation and from on from my left to the right the number three is uh Salai. he is uh he's also a co-founder he helped me we get all these uh, young and senior people all come together and uh, to be part of this uh, uh sonic journey and from the number four is um Daco, he is also the same band member of Vamalan. And they, so number two and number four, they both uh, in the same band called Side Effect, which is a, a underground uh, progressive uh, rock band. And they also uh, did a lot of thing in um, making young people get more chance to express their feeling in um, using music and sound art. They're also supporting Noise and Yango by giving us space to perform and the venue. Uh, before the COVID uh, first wave, we were doing regular concert every month. And when it's reached to the third one, the first positive patient arrived to Yangon and it's all canceled, uh, which is in 2020 March. So the 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 number five guy, he is uh, now in jail. Uh, he was accused of uh, using uh, making bomb and uh, making plan to attack with bomb. Uh, but I was with him all the time. Uh, two days before he was captured, I was making experimental piece together with him uh, and uh, yeah until uh, the two day before he got ready. Um, so he's still um, in the in the jail uh, in the trial for things he did not do and on the so the number six is uh, my friend from Singapore who also helped me support with the experimental scenes in Yangon. We studied together in school uh, from same lecturer who give us a lot of uh, nice in Yangon, um, a lot of um, nice in Yangon uh, support and. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six, the seven is he's a pianist, but uh, he's, he's not in the scenes anymore, but he's still uh, doing uh, keyboard player in rock and pop scenes. So the last one is, is Pinky. Uh, Pinky is very helpful to us since the beginning. She helped with all these designs, uh, printing poster, uh, poster for concert and organizing, helping, helping me get the artists from the airport to the hotel, and helping with a lot of things. Yeah. So um, the website uh, is down for uh, because of the coup. I plan not to renew it, but uh, since we are we are back in this business i'm creating a new one with a better uh visual artist who support me with with a on this uh on this community so can we go to the next pictures Okay, so this is also uh, another festival, uh, and we have uh, 
two artists who came down from Singapore to support me, which is we also study together in school. And and on the left is a uh, is a visual artist uh, that support us every, every almost every concert. And you could see some uh, same people, a lot of same people inside this uh, image. It, it, we could say this is uh, a uh, a young young senior uh, group. Because the first photo involved uh, all senior, and you can see this young senior, but uh, some of the uh, some drop out for some reason. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is you, you this is a new group. But for for my phase two collective, uh, we still have uh, Momiet, uh, Ito, Pinky, Gabriel too. And yeah, so uh, I forgot to mention that the guy on the right corner, he's, he's a co-founder of the Noise in Yango. He helped me get connect with a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of artists who, who is looking for this, this community and the, the, this kind of uh, environment. So yeah, like with some uh, some artists were amazed to see all oh, this kind of uh, community exit in Yangon, and they never thought of it. So, so yeah, he's like the messenger to all the artists getting organized and getting connect with me. So, yeah. Uh, can we move to the next picture? So this is uh is 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 a Mian art. It's a gallery. It's an art gallery run by Natalie. You can see you can see her uh, standing. Uh, she's American. Um, and she is doing art management business in Yangon for a long time already. I think more than ten years, and and she was the first person to witness all the beginnings since 2010 and she helped us support a lot and she, she always give uh, free for the venue for any time as much as, as we want like as long as it's, it's about experimental she always give us free for the space for the workshop so this is the this picture is uh, it's a workshop by from uh, Georgia, uh, the the leader of uh, Noise Farming, uh, the organizer. He held. We came down to Yangon with uh, naturally connections, and he gave us some presentation on the Georgia Noise Farming Festival, and. And perform some some of his uh, perform some noise with some of his gear. So yeah, so Natalie is also a huge uh, uh, you could say a huge supporter who help us connect to overseas artists and uh, local artists. So this is 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 the first uh, place for for me and my community to start off in 2017. And yeah, we slowly move into a huge uh, collective group. And for now um, I am going into the second phase of uh, collective, which is uh, more uh, energetic and more young um, because the senior artists need to leave the country due to the military coup for safety reason. Uh, you can stop sharing the picture. Yeah. I, think, I, only, I think I only sent three pictures, yes. So 
Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm getting a new young and artist for my second phase uh, co collection. And I already give uh, some of the artist database to Alice. So Alice choose uh, four pair from my collective. And so I've, what's, what's going on with uh, Yangon and the whole country, uh, we are having a huge um, civil war plus uh, the armed band warfare. Um, there's a bomb, bombing and Gen, Gen 5 in the city like almost almost every day. And we people also have no choice. They have to go out and walk. And there's no events, there's no music events and nothing going on. It's, everything is all online. And but the KTV bar club business were back were back, but there's also a curfew that you have to you cannot go out after 10 p.m. Uh, and you will get shot if 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 they see you after 10 p.m. So you have to go back to home like 9 p.m. at least if you go to bar or club. And and since our country is so so big up, up north where the fightings are more serious with tank and helicopters and everything. Um, so for us. We 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 donating firepower to uh, to to the uh, revolutionists who getting freedom for us. Um. So maybe by next year January, we might get split like North and South Korea. <laughs> so I wish to buy more more space in the in the new state. Uh, because the this the the old state is not safe, and it, I think it will take one or two more years to end this uh, crisis. So in the meantime, I I got lucky and I got connection with uh, people outside from uh, Myanmar, like who who is looking for experimental artists to support in this time. So first, I got connection with Alice to support us in this difficulty time uh, uh, to make this uh, art, online art residency happen. And I got, I also got connection with uh, New Sonic to make a radio episode about uh, Yangon experimental things. So I, I already did that, and I already submit to Chiwai. And I think they are gonna uh, release soon. It's 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 a, it's a it's a very good episode uh, which reflect what's going on with the politics and the current situations. And there's also a good interview with me and Satu talking about uh, how it affect to all the whole art industry because there's no singer, no actor, no nothing, no celebrity left to to make the art business back. They all flee to safe area. And 70% and of the popular artists are in the safe area and 30% are in the jail because uh, they were, they cannot make, they, they didn't escape. Um, and I'm, I'm also, we also working with a UK artists for a new project. Uh, it's just a bit similar to what what I'm doing with uh, OACA, we have to get there with the UK artists. Yeah, but everything, uh, please follow uh, our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page with Noisy Angle name, and I will update everything there, what, what's going on and what's happening. Um, so far, I, I'm i lucky and I'm safe. Uh, uh, I'm not in, I'm not, I'm still safe to stay in Yangon. Thank you, Ted. 